and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some tough Vladimir Swain. You know, one of our favorite uh, Vladimir decks, you know, with Vladimir and Swain together. This deck's been awesome. It's been really fun to play. We've played it a couple of times now. Let's run it with the new patch. I'm not making any changes. Uh, definitely thought about it, um, but I'm going to keep Grizzled Ranger in here for now. And I've been thinking about changing this Tiana. Um, you know, been really uh, considering playing a Garen instead or a Katarina instead. I don't know. We'll keep the Tiana, though. Um, but that's something that, that could change. Basically, Garen's really good, <clears throat> but we do have a ton of five mana cards. Um, Katarina is a another really good card, but this is not like a three mana card. You you play Katarina, you know, in the late game, like turn seven, turn eight. Um, you know, so it's it says three mana, but it's really not a card you want to play on turn three because you'll just get behind if you do. You can't take the time off to, to play it. But I think I'm just going to stick with the Tiana Crown Guard. Like, this is a really powerful 8-drop, but again, we do have other 8-drops. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so that's that's something, that's something a slot to think about. Uh, but yeah, our decks basically, we're, we're built on the, the Crimson cards with our Crimson Curator, Crimson Disciple, and then giving them tough. And I feel like Chain Vest is probably even better than normal right now because there's a lot of... A lot of people are playing Bilgewater, and there's a lot of Mega Rains all over the place, and so Chain Vest does look even better than normal because of that. So yeah, let's let's play some Vladimir Swain. And of course, Vladimir is now upgraded. The leveled up Vladimir starts draining, so that makes our deck even better. <laughs> yeah, yep, fair Vlad you. Do I want to keep one Blade Keeper? No. Should have kept a Blade Keeper. Wow, this is messy. Crimson Disciple. Okay, we'll take Curator. <clears throat> it's better than not having a Curator next turn. Yeah, the start of this hand was pretty yuck. Let's play. The bloodier, the better. Spin, spin, spin. You win. That slot bot. Keep up, keep up. May take over. Slow down, will you? Searching for some winners. Through the coral. No, come on, attack with the slot bot. What did we get? Here we go. Keep trying. All right, not bad. Not bad at all. Now, it's going to be tough for them to stop this Swain. Yeah, getting uh, Slopot out of there was really nice. Nothing 
Nice. That chain vest was real good. Ooh, Ranger's Resolve. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Hmm. Do I want to, like, just go Chain Vest, then Crimson Awakener? I think it'd still count as dealing three damage. I guess it didn't count as doing three damage for Swain. Gotcha. At least Mystic Shot doesn't kill any of my stuff now. Like that was the other thing is like using that tough means the Mystic Shot wasn't gonna kill anything. Oh, well. Alright, I guess now it does. Alright, so we're at 7 out of 12 for Swain. So if I play Death Lotus, this will level up Swain. And then kill all these things. So I can't I can't play. I guess I could play the chain vest first, like on the Swain, but. Oh well. Pretty good. I like saving chain vest to respond to their things. Take me for a spin. Ha -ha. Spin, spin, spin. You yeah, Ezreal's only at four out of eight. Yeah, that was a pretty sweet Swain activation. That's why I like Death Lotus. Death Lotus is like Never lost a fair game. surprisingly good. Blue as the serpentine. We gonna rally. Hold nothing back. Boo. GG's. Do you want a Tiana Crown Guard? Uh, I don't really have any good Lee Sin decks, to be honest. Lee Sin's not my favorite champion. Um, just like playstyle wise, and I think. Lee Sin was like on my list of losers for the patch. I think that Lee Sin definitely got worse with the patch with the deep meditation. Um, well, they got a bunch of things like the deep meditation nerf, but then also just the increase in um, like deep and Ezreal and things like that is bad for Lee Sin. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, so I don't have a great Lee Sin deck. Like, these are really good tricks if we have the units. Gotta have the units. Okay, there we go. 
He's my favorite champion. Hmm. Tough call. Really like Swain, Sejuani, Vladimir, um, Ash. Like those Freljord Noxus ones. Like Twisted Fate a whole lot. I'll try anyone you want. Those are like my my favorite ones to play. Get bloody, get paid. So kind of like next turn going Ranger's Resolve and then double Demolitionist. I'm one of the good guys. Oh yeah, especially with the Misfortune. The bloodier, the better. Like Ranger's Resolve against Misfortune. Because so we could have like Ranger's Resolve and then Death Lotus and then Demolition, like then one Demolitionist. That's why I kept Rangers... Like, the reason why I kept Rangers Resolve, the biggest reason why I kept was Misfortune. Oh, man, I forgot. Yeah, I really like Thrash and Hecarim, too. Always forward. So do I want to create crimson things or do damage to them? Let's see what you can do. Probably damage to them with all this other damage stuff. Disciple with Tuff is awesome. Bless is motion. They like can't even attack. <laughs> they attack, they kind of die. They're still going to do it. Oh, yeah, because they just attack with that, so I don't get to have Crimson Disciple block. All right, this is fine. Let's do this. Another four damage. That was pretty silly. It's nothing personal. Hmm. So I either go Might plus Death Lotus or Crimson Disciple plus Might. We'll do. Yeah, if I go Crimson Lotus, that's only doing four damage to them. Which is not lethal. Blast them. Delicious. The bloodier the better. We'll kinda see what they do. How they block. I know what I'm doing. 
According to them, they know what they're doing. Not my first gun fight. Who will do not doubt? All right, yeah, we're going Death Lotus. Death Lotus will just have everything trade. We do four damage to them and get a new Crimson. Man, what if we had another Ranger's Resolve also? Oh no, they have a Ranger's Resolve. Oh my gosh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm just dead. Alright, what a terrible attack. I shouldn't, shouldn't have played the Crimson Disciple. Should have set up Might. Should have just gone Might. Yeah, if I would have just gone Might Death Lotus. Yeah, that was just a really bad idea to play the other Crimson Disciple. I needed to just play Might Death Lotus like I wanted to. Don't you hate when you, like, have a good plan and you're going to win with your plan and then you draw a flashy a new flashy card that you're like man i need to play this new card that i just drew because it's it's so cool it's so flashy and it just uh loses the game for you don't you hate that wait i'm not dead oh i thought i was gonna be dead virtue guides me They probably have a spell to kill me, right? Yeah, that's what I do full time only love. You're covered. No, no. Yep, playing, uh, playing that crimson, that crimson disciple cost me. I should just, you know, I had my plan of might plus death lotus. I had my plan, and that plan would have worked. Yeah, um, yeah, I've definitely thought about playing some ash and lux together. Light and ice, because yeah, harsh winds is a great card for lux, definitely. We're currently playing Tough Vladimir Swain. We've got the list of decks over here on the left. You can see the, the carrot or arrow showing what deck we're currently playing. All right, opponent's deck's also awesome. Swain Sejuani. I probably, like, it's probably greedy for me keeping the Vladimir. Probably should be mulliganing that. Yeah, Bannerman's just fine. I'll try anyone one. Oh, I can't wait. There's nothing wrong with Bannerman. I just don't want to risk my Crimson Disciple dying with an attack. I don't know exactly how it would die, but I don't want to risk it. Transfusion. Now, like before, they wouldn't have had that, but. Let me show you what I can do. Oh, that was a great Omen Hawk, man. Omen Hawk's busted. I love a taste of the action. Mm. Their hand was great. 
Turn one Omen Hawk. Turn two Crimson Disciple. Turn three Omen Hawk plus Crimson Disciple. They're both pumped. Turn four a, a Plundered Wolf Rider. <laughs> wow. Wow. You must be Lord Vladimir. And you must be Supper. Friend them limb from limb. Long yeah, I mean that's the first bite. I'm absolutely say that the win rate of Omen Hawk on turn one, one drop skew the game dramatically. I mean Of of course, that would be like Yeah. I mean what it how do you change that? How do you change one drops not skewing the game dramatically? Just make them all just terrible, and so then everybody starts on turn two? That doesn't sound fun. Bottoms up. No, I haven't. I haven't seen any new uh, Rune Terra video from Riot. <laughs> Yeah, Omen Hawk is, is great. One suffers, another thrives. Camera is Okay, I just refreshed it. Love this transfusion draw. They really want to turn on Plunder. What are they going to have? Like Wolf Rider? Like, why do they want to turn on Plunder so bad? Can't have Riptide Rex. That costs eight mana and it's in Bil Bilgewater. And there's there's no fix to that. No, that's just how card games are. Like it, decks that curve out are going to do better than decks that don't curve out. The spell mana has really fixed that a lot. The spell mana has been awesome at. Uh, help making it that if you do have, you know, just one drop, two drop, three drop, four drop, you don't always win. Really love the, the whole spell mana thing. Yeah, like turn, yeah, for example, yeah, exactly. Nothing on one, nothing on two, then uh, remembrance. There have been times that I have not played. Oh man, that is, that is risky. There have been times that I have not played Omen Hawk on turn one, like if I needed to have, uh, Elixir of Iron. If I had like a 2, 3, 4 that I really wanted to protect with Elixir of Iron. I have done that a few times before. Destruction feeds my fire. Aren't they just dead? They seem really dead. Because this regenerates, so yeah, I'll have the that thing die. Is that all? Such little life. 
I didn't play the transfusion still on my turn because they still had two mana. I didn't know what they were gonna do with the two mana. But yeah, now now we can transfusion burst speed and kill them. Your taste is impeccable. Yeah, of course, if, if you curve out really well, you're going to have a better chance of winning than when you don't curve out really well. I don't really understand what the problem with that is. I don't know why that's disheartening. All right, Callista Lucian. This deck has a lot of spells in it. Ugh. But I really, you know, we don't have a whole lot of early creatures that are important. No, I don't know anything about new feature and modes that are coming soon. I guess, was that like a video that was just released? Somebody said that there was a video that was just released. By Riot, was, was that what that was about? I don't know anything about it. Push back the darkness. My steel is yours. Protect and strike. This is mercy. Let's get a good look at you. Look what you Too damn soon. This was not a very good hand. Yeah, a ton of stuff for 2020 and beyond. Okay, yeah, no, I haven't. I haven't seen that at all, is it? It's on their news site, maybe? No, not on the news site. Alright, let's mess some folks up. So I attack, they block with the 2-2, two, two, then they get to attack. And my 3-4 kills the Wraith Caller, but I take 8 damage. Mm -hmm. Then they could go straight to combat and do another 8 damage if they want. That single combat. Well, that's a bummer. Honor guide me. All right, great hand over there. Terrible hand for me, and we got blown out. All right, two and two. Let's finish with a win for tough Vladimir Swain. Same thing. I mean, like, do we just keep all these? I don't think so. But then if we just get all of our five drops again, that's 
better. If any of them were the tough spell, I would I'd be keeping, you know, Ranger's Resolve or Chain Vest. Um, maybe I should be keeping single combat. Let me show you what I can do. Maybe that's the thing that I need to keep is single combat. Our deck has quite a few spells. I think we're at 16 spells. The dark beckons. War Mason, reporting for duty. Yeah, so. For the glory of Noxus, look what you do. Uh, I don't know. No, their their tier list is not updated. Their meta tier list, as far as I would know. As far as I know, they update every Monday, and so like they wouldn't have updated since the patch. All right, let's mess some folks up. But yeah, we we've been playing a, a ton of decks um, since the patch that have all that we've had a lot of good stuff. Uh, Why are you here? Beamer. Really wish I could play a five drop and have transfusion. That would be the best case scenario. Never lost a fair game or played one. Soak it in. We can't do both. By my hat, Noxus rise. Lead us to victory, Grand General. Yeah, the link. All of my decks are here, or also maybe easier just to find them on the YouTube channel and, and scrolling through the YouTube channel. Maybe easier. Yeah, as far as Fiora decks, uh, Shen, Fiora Shen. I like that one. But then, uh, yeah, Swain. This is a pretty sweet Swain deck, but then also, um, besides this, Sejuani Swain, I think, is really strong. We'll be playing Sejuani Swain again on Sunday. I haven't played it since the update, but we'll be doing that on Sunday. Yeah, Hecarim and Dur looked good. Both losses were were ones that I, I probably could have made some better decisions on. Want to play this Swain? This Swain is the one that they know about. Again, this would be a good time to have an extra mana ravenous flock that thing, but we'll just go with this with the transfusion. So let's see. So that'll be. Three, six. Yes, yeah, so we should be able to attack and level up Swain during the attack. Indecision is the first of many weaknesses. Here we go. This is that's my ver Shen ver Fiora version. No! Oh, that's... That's too bad. Well, 
Well, plans changed. We'll do this while my opponent's doing that and then just go straight to attacks. So that, you know, they won't be able to block Swain. Because of the fearsome. So Swain's doing six damage, put him to three, so it means they have to block the Badger Bear, and it's pretty difficult to, uh, to not block that thing. Chain Vest. Riptide Rex is what I'm really worried about next turn. So I like keeping this Demolitionist alive. Give me another target. So if they just go Warning Shot Riptide Rex, I have, you know, just another thing out. So it makes it harder for them to kill Swain. <laughs> Sherlock says, is Burn Aggro, Karina Control, Ezreal Karma still S tier or is Deep just better in general? Those are, those are two, like, separate questions. They don't really have anything to do with the other. Um, like, yeah, like, you can have separate answers to those. Anyway, but no, like, those, those decks are not S tier. Maybe, yeah, no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say any of them are. Um, yeah, I would, I would say that Deep probably is, but none of those decks are. It's possible burn aggro still is that people don't that people just aren't playing burn right now. It's possible burn's still good. Can they call me a shark? I have this two one sitting here for a reason. Okay, so they're gonna have. <laughs> so this is gonna take one, two, three, four. Is this taking five? Yeah, this thing's taking five things, so I can't even save Swain. Cool, Adamic. Yeah, hopefully you like that. Um, there's two. I have two videos with it. We played it once right before the patch, and then once right after, basically. That's the other video. Are right, hoping this Vladimir attack happens? I don't. I don't think there is a best deck. I don't think there is one. No. Come on. Mina Swiftfoot. Seriously. They had to have that 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 one mana vulnerable card, 
and then Vina Swiftfoot? Like, why do they have those two cards? Ugh. And I don't, you know, like, I'm one mana short, of course, from just, like, replaying Demolitionist and killing them with that. We had a lot of success with Hecarim, like, so far. Played three different Hecarim decks, and they've all felt great. Um, the Vladimir Sejuani deck I played the other day felt really, really powerful. I have the mana to do everything, right? 5, 10, 12. Okay, I have 12 mana. So I have the mana to do everything. I've dressed for the occasion. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's see. So we went we went 5041 and then 32 today. The 32 today with the Hecarim deck felt like we got pretty unlucky both losses. I may say like the one that we played today was my favorite maybe. I mean the, the unyielding Hecarim felt really good. Okay, cool. I guess probably the, the unyielding Hecarim is the most powerful of all of them. So probably just go with that for the deck that's the most powerful. Yeah, perfect perfect mana count. So we could still respond. So to kind of explain that last turn, I went with the single combat first because, you know, I, I basically wanted to keep tapping them out of mana and set it up so my Noxion Fervor was the last thing. So if they had um, other things to do. The Noxion Fervor was a perfect draw, but it turned out we didn't need it, but it was a perfect draw. Um, yeah, so I guess I'd probably go with the Hecarim with Demacia if I had to pick out one Hecarim deck. Um, there's a lot of the, like, so basically these Vladimir, Swain, Sejuani decks, I, there's a lot of different way to play those three cards, and I, I really like uh, those three cards. Um, I was super, super impressed with Vladimir, Sejuani that we played two days ago. Um, I think it's I think it's a stronger stronger deck than this one myself. Um, but this this deck's pretty good. Like this deck, really, you're really relying on having like Crimson Disciple, Demolitionist, and Crimson Curator. Like those th those three cards are super important. You got to mulligan hard for those cards because you have a whole lot of spells. If you look at like things that cost three or less, those are our only um, allies that cost three or less. Everything else are spells, and you don't you don't really need like the four plus mana spells right away. Uh, you don't really need, um, and so like, so like keeping like any individual spell, like keeping transfusion or single combat or mind or noxion for like none of those really matter that much if you don't have curator, disciple, demolitionist. Those are like the three most important cards, um, especially like crimson disciple, of course, number one. This is the most important card in the deck. Having this, and getting this with like chain vest is really powerful. But this is the card that you're looking for when you're playing this deck, for sure. And then Curator 2, and then like Demolitionist 3, just to have something else early. But yeah, we could do a lot of a lot of damage with this. Um, 
and it's pretty sweet. We've got a good late game. We never we never even cast on Yielding Spirit or Le the Leviathan during these. We did play a T on a Crown Guard once to kill our opponent, but fun deck here with tough Vladimir Swain. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, and it still looks good, you know, even with uh, you know with the new patch, still looking good. But yeah, uh, let me know what what are you doing with Vladimir Swain. You know, leave those comments, hit that like button. Um, always like seeing all that kind of stuff. Uh, but anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.